So I'm uh, making this video to close out 2011 um, by cleaning up my mess and answering all of the unanswered questions that spawned from my Q&A video. Um, this is going to be multiple people. Uh, I'm just going to answer all of them. I'm going to start with Fractal Machine because he actually made a video response asking me two questions. Um, the first one was uh, <laughs> if two consenting people signed contracts saying that each other could have sex with the other should one of them die, uh, should that necrophilia be allowed because they were consenting. And then he <clears throat> also wanted to know um, if somebody filmed themselves, say, masturbating while they were underage, and then uh, when they became of age wanted to market tapes of themselves or DVDs or something, or you know, sell videos online of themselves as a younger person, could they legally do that? Should they be able to? Um, is there anything wrong with that? And I'm going to say... Um, Yes, there is something wrong with that. And I'm going to add another scenario on top of that. Um, and that would be, say, if uh, a man and his wife are out on the town and his wife gets drunk. And before she gets drunk, she says, um, you're going to get lucky tonight, mister. And then she gets so drunk that by the time they get home, uh, she gets into bed and she passes out drunk. And then the man has his way with her. And then she wakes up and she says, Oh, well, that's okay. I told you that you could, so it, it was okay. I'm going to say that's wrong, too. All three instances, wrong. Because I believe that consent is an active participatory thing um, for my own morality. So um, when the girl was young making tapes of herself, sexually explicit tapes. Um, she was not able to give consent because she was too young. Uh, dead people can't give consent, even if they tried to consent before they died. It, during that state of death, they can't give consent. And drunk people, whether before and after they were in that drunken passed out time, they could not give their consent during the drunken passed out time. So sex with any of these people or sexual acts or recording sexual acts with any of those circumstances, I would say, would be wrong. He also uh, wrote a, another question, um, which came from one of my other videos, and he wanted to know... Uh, this is Fractal Machine again. <clears throat> Just out of curiosity, if somebody is not attracted to people of other skin colors, for instance, would you consider them racist? Keep in mind that people do not necessarily control who they're attracted to and who not. Um, I think that you should keep in mind that an attraction is not just a sexual thing. It's also an interpersonal thing uh, outside of sexual relations. And there have been studies showing that in the same family, children who are of the same parents, who happen to be of different hues, um, say, some, you know, from dark skin to light skin, be it uh, Caucasian or African American, um, the studies show that the darker-skinned children do receive harsher treatment from their parents. And those parents, of course, are attracted to their children as far as loving them. But darker-skinned children tend to be treated harsher. And also, I would point to... Uh, this, is, this is like 10 years ago, but there was a controversy about the cover of Time magazine which had O.J. Simpson on the cover because the original photos were not of the same hue that the, the magazine covers were. In fact, um, when you make someone's face darker, 
they seem more guilty. And that was a big thing because, um, you know, unless you knew O.J. Simpson personally, I guess you wouldn't really recognize what hue he should be in a photo, you know, and they darkened it. And they did it for a reason, you know, to sell more magazines. Uh, and uh, they were playing off that darker skin uh, equals you know, you don't you're not as attracted to them. Now this doesn't work for everyone. It just works on average. Um, there are people who are not wired that way, but again, it's something that you just can't control whether you are wired that way or not. So <clears throat> I would not call this person racist for not being attracted to uh, people of other skin colors. It, I would say that they would be a racist if they actively excluded people on the basis of those skin colors rather than just looking around and saying, hey, is that person pretty? So, Darth Paul123 wanted to know, um, I have not been to any of the occupations, but I was thinking about it, especially since I just lost my job. Would you like to meet up at one if you get a chance to come to Denver? Um, okay. Um, get with me. Find me on Skype. You can find me as Agent of Doubt on Skype. Uh, send me a PM. Uh, let's see. Sorry about you losing your job, and I hope you find another one, too. If that's what you're looking for. <clears throat> Godless Manitoban wants to know, how long do you think the Occupy movement will last? Hmm. I would say longer than the, the fame that the Tea Party got. And, and I'm just looking at a similar movement, and that was the Tea Party thing, and the Tea Party basically dominated the news for a summer. And I think that uh, as soon as the snow lifts, um, I think you'll see a resurgence in the things that are done in the name of protesting and labeled Occupy. But uh, I think uh, while that insurgent that resurgence will be coming. I think also a lot of people are uh, finding other things that they are aligning themselves to protest with and doing things that are productive in another in other ways other than just raising awareness by uh, occupation. So, um, from my perspective right now, I see it as Occupy, lasting at least until next summer. <sighs> Let's see. And Brian J1962 uh, wants to know uh, red, white, or blue, and why? In answering, please define your terms, cite any sources, used in validation, and identify both the assumptions made in and potential flaws resulting from your presentation. Thank you and have a nice day. Um, let's see. If I only have to choose between red, white, and blue, even though uh, white like doilies and, and light at the end of the tunnel, that might be my favorite color. Um, not like white like skin color, like white like that um, I think that I'm gonna go with blue because blue has the connotation of like depression and uh, like blue periods for painters I actually had a talk with Jack um, recently about painters and blue periods anyways um, yeah, and and the why 
is because that is what I've been going through lately and what I have been uh, working actively to get myself out of by trying to be more productive. And that being everything from my Q&A that people tacked on as I was answering questions, that closes out my 2011 as uh, far as things that I wanted to do and I feel I feel better just getting it out of the way you know it's all packaged up 2011 is phew, gone on to bigger and better things